Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It... it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me! Those are my people! They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back! Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Salarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Retrieving the females should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie. 
for Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No, Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Another incursion? Air defense? You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. Do you know what happened to Malin? By the time our team reached Tachanka, he was gone. It's possible one of the Krogan clans killed him, or maybe he fled the planet. A pity. Malin was bright, if a bit naive, about the status quo he was challenging. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? 
My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. That sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. You said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. When I shut Malon's experiments down, I saved his research on the cure. Yes. I received an anonymous data packet some time ago. I believe it was Morden Solis's doing. Malin's data lacks crucial detail to reconstruct the cure, but it may help us in synthesizing one from living tissue. Unfortunately, the data couldn't help them. Did you even attempt to save them? With every technique our science could muster, no effort was spared. Commander, Bernard Rex only knows about this because I told him. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. I wish we could have done more. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Cerberus troops are attacking the base. Get the females out there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the bot through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. To the elevator, Commander! Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Mom! Get back! Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. Careful. They're going to.
goes the next shadow broker. Not funny. Commander, the technician was killed. Clear us to the checkpoint. Are you okay? The containment shield is holding. I can attempt repairs if necessary, though that may be small comfort to our patient. I'm fine, Commander. It's likely Cerberus was tipped off. Maybe a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. It would derail your alliance with the Turians. That's not gonna happen. Meet us at the next checkpoint! I suspect Cerberus will try to hit us! Authorize her release, Commander. The pod then transfers to the loading area. Let's get out of there. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Shatter, you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. 
Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Wicks, how long will it take to finish a cure? There's more work to be done. I need time to synthesize a base antigen from the female's tissue. I'll also require a sample of healthy male Krogan tissue. You're looking at it. Very well. You'll need to remain confined to the Normandy for the procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. A cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order. Can you do it? Reverse a 2,000-year-old sterility plague? I've tackled worse. How will it work? Those are the details I need time to discover. But we won't solve anything standing here arguing politics. Then get started, Wicks, and make it fast. Certainly. If you need me, I'll be in your med bay running tests on Eve. Eve? A name from your own mythology. It has the appropriate connotations, and seemed more respectful than female Krogan. She never told us her real name. You should come speak with her, though. Very insightful. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it. In private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help, and understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? 
my son. I needed someone I could trust completely. That's all. Of course, Commander. Concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Commander? You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. That's all. Of course, Commander. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. 
Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? I am a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Solarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Deal. Commander, Eve's blood tests are in good order. Malin's notes have been invaluable in restoring her health. I'm glad I saved them. You quite possibly saved her life, too. How have you been getting along with Eve? She tried to kill me at first. Krogan don't react well to Solarians doing medical tests on them. Once that was cleared up, we've formed something of a cross-species relational bond. You mean you're friends now? It's more an agreement not to kill each other. Species take time to evolve. So do friendships. Though I still haven't learned her real name yet, have you? She said it's a secret. Baffling custom. I suppose Eve will have to do for now. Though one wonders how other Krogan would get her attention. Excuse me, Krogan of female persuasion. Do you have a moment? I knew an STG scientist named Morden Solis. Have you heard of him? Indeed. I once punched him in the face. You what? He was still an STG at the time. I postulated there was more to evolution than just random mutation. Morden disagreed. We argued, we drank, then argued some more. Soon enough, a good fracas seemed the best way to settle things. Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. Indeed, I once... He was still in it. We argued. We... Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. So the two of you were friends? Some weeks, yes. Some weeks we didn't speak to each other. There were tremendous stresses for those involved in Genophage research. My side of it was all theoretical. His side... Well, he went to Tachanka. He saw its effects up close. He was never the same after that. I now understand. I'm sorry to say, Morden died. I know. STG is aware of your mission through the Omega-4 relay. For Morden's sake, I hope he finally found the grace he deserved. And new music. If I hear Gilbert and Sullivan one more time, it's astonishing what noise some species consider harmonious. Thanks. 
I appreciate your help in this. And I appreciate the chance to witness this moment in history, Commander. We're charting a new course in evolution. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. How's the new Solarian working out? What's his name, not Morden? Fine. His name's Paddock Wicks. I'm just gonna go with not Morden. It is good you came by. I have questions about the Genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tichanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. PlayStation.